Manchester United is leading a race for Tammy Abraham. You'll remember that Tammy Abraham is a Roma football player who has been playing quite well for Roma and also played in the Premier League and impressed at Chelsea before heading to um, to Roma. And right about now, with Manchester United in a crisis for a number nine, it will be noted that the one and only uh, the football player Tammy Abraham is now in uh, a race for uh, foot, for football players definitely who are needed at Manchester United and it will be remembered that there are six clubs that are interested in him but Manchester United is at the top of the six clubs with all of them wanting to sign Tammy Abraham. He is a hot cake and we are going to be discussing this and more right about here at the United chapter with me your host Abu Kals. Anyway I haven't said hello to you have I? Hello everyone and thank you for being part of the United chapter and make your point subscribe and ring that notification bell such do not miss out on whatever we've definitely got to bring to as long as it is sports and as long as it is manchester united related right about here at the united chapter with me your host abu Kals. let's dig deep into today's topic as we're talking about tammy abraham and his potential move to manchester united as almost everything is said for tammy abraham to join manchester united so you'll be remembered that uh, this gentleman's full name is kevin kevin tamale wabi <laughs> that's quite a long name isn't it kevin tamerabi uh, bakumo <laughs> Abraham is known as Tammy Abraham Mendes, an English professional football player who plays as a striker for Serie A club Roma and also he plays for the English national team. So for some time right about now, uh, he's been linked to a number of clubs and uh, there is a bidding war for him as uh, the price for him has been set to £40 million by SC. Uh, for actually, for, uh, Roma has set a price at uh, Roma set a price at uh, 40 million pound. So, who is willing to take this gentleman at 40 million pound? You'll remember that this gentleman has played for quite a big number of clubs, and some of the clubs that he's played for uh, is Chelsea under 19. That's where he started, and then he played for Bristol City, played for Swansea, Chelsea under 23. He played for Aston Villa, and also played for the England na England under 21, and played for Chelsea, and also the England national team, where he made a wonderful six appearances and scored thrice. And also he's been playing for Roma, and right about now he could be heading to Manchester United. Anyway, let's dig deep into time. Tammy Abraham. So Tammy Abraham, you'll be remember that he's one of the best strikers right about now. But he's not had the best of seasons. Uh, the last season has not been the best of seasons for him as uh, his form hasn't been uh, the best. So do you think Manchester United should be in a position of buying a football player who's not been in the season, in the form, has not been on form last season? However, his debut season for Roma, which was on 2021, so on 2022, he scored 17 goals in 37 appearances. That was okay and made four assists. He had a big number of yellow cards. That was nine, but no red card at all. So, uh, looking, basing on some 2021, uh, 2022, definitely he was doing on okay. He, was, he, he did quite well. However, he struggled to find his form uh, the last season. And uh, the question is, should Manchester United really go on and sign this gentleman whom you're not sure about uh, with all the strikers that have been linked to Manchester United? A big number of strikers have been linked to Manchester United uh, with uh, some of the strikers being uh, um, Victor Simeon, who is a Nigerian international and also plays for Napoli and also uh, Hurricane also in there and uh, now that makes it three isn't it? There is Hurricane, there is uh, Tammy Abraham and uh, there is uh, uh, Victor Simeon and there are also some other football players who have been linked to uh, to, uh, a, to joining Manchester United and we're talking about strikers. However, the situation at Manchester United, the strikers, the number nines at Manchester United, we've got two. Uh, we've got, uh, Manchester United has got, um, has got um, Valt Figost and uh, Valt Figost and uh, Anthony Marshall and both of these football players have undoubtedly had issues when it comes to football when it comes to goal scoring they've had issues okay 
Anton Marshall possibly would have had not very many issues, but still it will be remembered that despite the fact that all this definitely has been happening, Anton Marshall finding form has been a big problem for him. And also, uh, even when he had a, a bit of form on him, he's always on injury. So that's not the kind of football player that Manchester United should be relying on for the next season if Manchester United is, is looking at taking the Premier League title next season. I mean, you're, you're, you're looking at clubs like Newcastle United, you're looking at clubs like Manchester City, are you looking at clubs like Liverpool? They've got very big, very good forwards. So you need a very wonderful forward in there. So that definitely you can favorably compete for the big price anyway uh, so uh, looking at uh, at uh, Anthony Marshall as I told you I don't think he's competent Anthony Marshall isn't in the best of positions right about now but maybe he could find his form you never know but I think uh, also he's just getting up on him and his form isn't doing quite well and this has happened for a few seasons so I don't think I don't see him I really I don't see Eric Ten Hag depending on him very very much and I uh, leaving him alone leaving uh, him alone then Vald Figos Vald Figos was brought to Manchester United from Basictas and he's a Burnley football player who went to Basictas on loan from Burnley and the fact that Burnley has now been promoted to uh, the Premier League uh, from the EFL Championship and now they're going to be playing the Premier League definitely they need a very good striker like possibly him but do you think company will uh, do you think Vincent company will trust him with the striking section at uh, at Burnley in the Premier League that is also another question to ask yourself however it's not Manchester United's fault as you already know as you definitely know that uh, uh, this gentleman you definitely know that this gentleman uh I, you know that uh, you know that uh, Valve Figos de definitely did not impress at Manchester United. So it's not Manchester United's fault uh, because Manchester United is looking at uh, definitely saying goodbye to him. There is no uh, in the contract they signed. There was no uh, there is no clause that said Manchester United can buy him. And the fact that he's not been able to score with quite a number of uh, sports analysts and uh, commentators and stuff like that uh, coming out and saying uh, Valve Figos when he played for Manchester United it really looked like United were playing with 10 men with him not uh, performing quite well as expected on the ground on the pitch definitely that left quite a lot of football fans and also football analysts not happy with him and his form at Manchester United he scored just a few goals and definitely that was not the best I mean if you have a football player of his caliber and you, you definitely, when he was coming, we thought possibly he, he will score maybe at least, at least 15 goals, at least. Oh, okay, the least number of goals that we expected him to score was 10. But he didn't make it for Manchester United. So why should Manchester United keep uh, him? There's no big reason as to why I should see Manchester United keeping Valve figures. Therefore, I think even uh, bringing Tammy Abraham would be the best solution, would be better. I'm not for Tammy Abraham 100%. I mean, there is Victor Us who is right there and also there is Harry Kane who is right there all of them are willing to join the clubs with uh, Man what Manchester United needs to do is to make sure they can convince them so in these three football players Harry Kane, Tammy Abraham and Victor Usman whom would you definitely pick whom would you go for is it Tammy Abraham is it Victor Usman or uh, it is uh, Harry Kane but you will be remembered that uh, Victor Usman is a very good one and he's still young compared to uh, to um, Harry Kane but uh, remember that a uh, Victor Usman is now being uh, the fact that uh, that Napoli took the uh, the uh, it took uh, the Serie A uh, in definitely that definitely means a Serie A trophy was taken by uh, uh, by Napoli that definitely means that uh, uh, the top scorer, the biggest, uh, Im uh, the biggest player put the impact in, uh, the working was definitely uh, Victor Usman who scored quite a big number of goals for them. By the time they took the trophy, oh, he had already scored 23 goals, period. And any club needs a, a football player like him. Score 20 plus football, uh, score 20 plus goals and definitely everything will definitely be sorted for you. And uh, every club will definitely be running after you. And right about now, Manchester United put in their hopes high that they are going to get him. It comes in at a situation where uh, uh, Chelsea have also launched their uh, uh, launched their uh, ways of uh, making him uh, the, a Chelsea football player. Chelsea have also come out and said they definitely want him. Chelsea want uh, want. 
uh, Victor Osimhen. So there's going to be a bit of competition, as you already know that uh, Chelsea doesn't uh, doesn't care about how much you definitely want. When you want the when they want a football player, you will be remember they will, they will always have him at all costs. Whether if you're saying that you want 80 million pound and uh, there is a club that is competing, they'll give you 100 million pound and ask, are you giving us the player or not? So that's the kind of football club that Chelsea is. But now there are two football players, two strikers that are all needed by Chelsea and Manchester United. The fact that Tammy Abraham is also needed by Chelsea and Tammy Abraham is needed by Manchester United. And also Victor Schmann is needed by Chelsea and Victor Schmann is also needed by Manchester United. So this definitely puts us in a situation where uh, you need to decide because uh, I don't see all, I don't see uh, any of the clubs taking the two football players. I don't see Manchester United uh, buying two strikers, uh, buying uh, uh, Tammy Abraham and also Victor Schmann. That is definitely out. That is ruled out. No, not at all. And actually, Manchester United would not, might not even buy either of them. They could go for Hurricane. Anyway, I think it could be a better thing for the club, Manchester United, if they get a forward with the fact that two of the football players, uh, two of the strikers at Manchester United have not performed, leaving the work for a non uh, number a football player who shouldn't even be playing number nine. He's not a number nine. Marcus Rashford has scored uh, the most number of goals I think uh, the last season, and definitely shouldn't be. This should be a role of number nine. You need a football player who's going to score twenty plus goals. Twenty plus goals were scored by Marcus Rashford, not Valt Figust, not Ma not Anton Marshall, and that is a very dangerous thing. Marcus Rashford should be creating opportunities and scoring some uh, somewhere. Sometimes, uh, but not all the time, he should be creating opportunities and making sure that uh, goals are scored. That's what should be done by him. And also, uh, uh, scoring once in a while. And if, he, if Marcus Rashford doesn't score, it's not his fault. You can't blame him because he's not a number nine. And, but uh, it will be remembered still that uh, uh, the fact that he's played as a number nine. He's not a number nine. But he's played because uh, Manchester United has not had the opportunity to get a football player to play in that position. And right about now, uh, I think Tammy Abraham could definitely be one of the best that can uh, come to Manchester United. But there is going to be a competition for him. As you already know that the Premier League is short of number nines. Almost every big club is looking for a number nine. Almost every big club is looking for a number nine. Scarcity of number nines, definitely, that definitely means that uh, Tammy Abraham is also going to be uh, a very odd kick. And we could see prices increasing as a uh, 40 million pound isn't the best of prices that you can offer for him. However, I will be remembered that uh, S. Roma put a price tag on him and it said that no. Uh, S. Roma came out and said no 40 million, nothing for him and nothing for any club. And some of the clubs that are interested, as I told you, there are six clubs that are in competition. Manchester United leading the rest. There is also Chelsea who are definitely also interested in this gentleman. And you will be remember that he also played for Chelsea and scored quite a big number of, of goals at Chelsea. And uh, he made a number of appearances at Chelsea. In looking at the Premier League, Chelsea uh, is scored 15 goals in season 2019, season 2020, and six goals 2020, 2021 in 22 appearances. Then I uh, also played for Aston Villa, where he scored 26 goals in 40 appearances, and that was quite great. And that was in the season 2018, 2019. And uh, not forgetting that he also. Uh, played for uh, Chelsea under 21, he played for Swansea, Bristol, Chelsea under 19, a big number. And also uh, the fact that he played for Aston Villa and Aston Villas, I have already told you that he impressed there. Aston Villa saying they definitely also need him. But I think Manchester United should be in a better position to beat Aston Villa because Aston Villa doesn't have that money uh, to spend on Tammy Abraham. They could be having the money, but they're not going to compete with Manchester United. That is definitely out. Manchester United has the upper hand as you already know they finished uh, how, how they finished in the Premier League compared to Aston Villa Aston Villa finished way down that means uh, that gives Manchester United a bigger advantage in all this then Tottenham holds Spurs is definitely Uspa is definitely Spurs is definitely one of the other
other clubs that definitely need this gentleman with also Liverpool and also Roma saying they are keeping him and Liverpool saying they definitely also need him definitely we could be seeing a uh, quite big competition those are the six clubs Manchester United Chelsea Newcastle United Aston Villa Tottenham Spurs, Liverpool and AC Rome definitely being the clubs that are interested in this gentleman AS Roma is interested in this gentleman and they are also saying that they are not leaving this gentleman just as yet they are not going to just leave him uh let him go just as yet but uh if any club is willing to give them 40 million pound which manchester united has already agreed they could be paying definitely he will be leaving the club it's roma it's roma it's roma anyway thank you for being part of the united chapter and make your point subscribe and ring that notification bell so you do not miss it on what eve of the to go to bring to you as long as it is sports and as long as it is manchester united related right about here are the united chapter with me your host abu kaza tell you thank you and goodbye for now